All right, guys. Um, I just had a dream that was kind of random. At least it started off weird and random. Is the best way I can put it. But I'm not going to talk about the dream because the dream had nothing to do with the message that came in in a voice. It was the best way I can say it. It was a voice talking and speaking. And uh, I can't remember if it was me asking questions or someone else was asking questions, but it was about the rapture. And it was like I could see a mental image of a hare, which is a rabbit, essentially. It was a hare, and it was very random. It was like right at the end of this uh, uh, this machine-like dream, you know. Uh, I was trying to get on a motorcycle that somebody had gotten into an accident. It was a big motorcycle. This thing was must have been fast. This isn't the type of motorcycle that you develop in it. In, in the world, but it, that's exactly what this was, it was a brown motorcycle, and there were machines all over the place, they looked like uh, rusty machines, but they were big, some of them were huge machines, and the air was so polluted that the sky was yellow, This it, it was like, it was like, uh, like some of the movies where, where rust is all over the place, and the sky is pretty much poisoned, and I'm walking around and that's it. And um, I was about to, you know, try and see if I could ride the motorcycle. Not to steal it, but I, I needed a ride. And it was the only thing there. I don't know what happened to my ride. Anyways, and then the tow truck came by. And either way, the front tire was blown. So I couldn't do anything with it. Um, and then... I believe I was waking up from the dream, but I wasn't. I was, if anything, the dream had kind of faded into the background, almost like it was just like, you know how you turn on the TV and you just leave the TV on just for aesthetics when you're trying to go to sleep? Well, that's when everything faded out. And I started having a conversation. I say I. Yeah, there was, I couldn't tell if it was me or if it was a child or maybe it was me in child form. I don't know. Um, but here's what I can say. I was having a conversation with a hare. And I say a hare. It wasn't, not, I wasn't having a conversation with the hare itself. The hare was the image. But the voice that I heard, I can't. I can't really describe this voice. Um, we were talking about the rapture. And this voice was describing to me. It was like. Not many are going to make it. And I was like. Well why? Why aren't. Why aren't many going to make it? And the voice described to me. It was, uh, it was like. It told me because a lot of people are going to lose hope. They're going to give up. And I was like, but, you know, but I'm spreading hope. There's a lot of us out there spreading that hope of the rapture. And the voice goes, yes, however, the timing is what's going to cause people to lose hope. Many will stop believing in the rapture many will turn against it and even though the rapture is real they will be left behind and so the voice continues to explain certain things and I'm I ask another question I was like okay well um why then am I being shown this or why are you talking to me about this? It's like, because I, and the voice goes and he sounded like he explains to me because there are going to be those that are going to try to make it to heaven through other means. 
and that's when I spoke of, uh, uh, that's when I responded. And uh, I was like, you mean how scripture talks about how um, the parable where there are those who do not have the white garments, you know, basically getting in illegally. Now, I didn't say it verbatim through scripture when I was speaking to the voice, but that's what I was referring to. Is how there are those that are going to make it there. And the voice goes, yes, um, they, the evil ones, government, however you want to call it, a voice goes to me and says, they will make it, uh, they will try to give uh, everyone an option to go here, to go into heaven. They'll tell them how to get there. And that's when I go, well, what do you mean? There's only one way to go there. It was like, well, there are people who are trying to get there in the spirit right now. Uh, many who will stop believing in the rapture will learn of a way to get into heaven in the spirit. And that's when I was like, but you can't do anything without Jesus. You can't get there without Jesus. And the voice goes, doesn't mean that they will not try. This was a, a long conversation that happened within seconds, by the way, guys. Um, that's as far as I remember. That's all I can really share. And here's what I have to say about it. From what I was shown, part of the reason why many will fall away is because of the fact that the timing will be off for a lot of people. And many will lose their faith, kind of like how it's already happened um, recently within these past four years. Um, I'm not going to explain as to what, what that entails or what that means. Here's what I'll finish with saying. Remember the scripture where Jesus Christ says himself, when the Son of Man returns, will he find faith on the earth? When he returns, he wants to find us in faith. But the world will get so bad and time will pass and pass, and pass. That we may lose hope in the very thing we've been waiting for. So here's my encouragement here. Regardless, and I mean regardless, of what happens, what transpires, does not matter. Don't ever lose hope and stay focused on Jesus Christ. God bless you guys in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.